What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Morning Show for April 25th. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside comic book man himself, Ming Chen. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you for coming in. What a fucking weird world. I, uh, all right, so we can curse on the show. Oh, uh, thank, I'm sorry. Yeah, we gave th- you nothing. Th- Say whatever you, uh, you want. Thank you for uh, establishing that. No, yeah. This is this is a huge honor. I literally came out here to San Francisco to uh, drink coffee and watch baseball. Yeah. And then I get an invite here. Uh, talk about right place, right time. I know, right? Well, I'm glad that you got hooked up with us. Of course, uh, you know Ming from Comic Book Men over on a- AMC. One of the we're going to get into your whole career here and Kevin Smith and all that jazz. But most importantly, you're here because of. Fellow best friend, fellow Twitch streamer, let's get Lexi. She was on the show last week. Then you ran into her. You met her last night? Is that how it happened? Uh, I met her before. Uh, okay. She lives in Houston. Got oh, right, right, with right. with some friends. But started the game. She's like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah. I'm like drinking coffee and goofing off. She's like, I think I got something that you might have fun You're with. You're like, let me tell you how to waste an hour and a half in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. You could be seeing the Golden Gate Bridge do this. Go hang out with Kevin and Greg for a little bit. Yeah, which is way better. You know, the bridge will always be there. Uh, sure. Or, unless Magneto moves it, you know, from... Um, if from Magneto moves, moves it, <laughs> if the apes get it, there's always something going on on yeah, that bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go on the bridge. No. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. asking... <laughs> Every time I'm on it, I do think about that. I'm like, is this going to be the time something horrible happens? Yeah, or, uh, you know, or Christopher Walken might... Might fly blimp above it. Yeah. You know, we might fight on top of it. Sure. Um, you know, for your old kids, uh, Roger Moore. Uh, that's a James Bond reference. So, uh, you know, but don't go on the bridge. It's a lesson. <laughs> the, basically, what I'm saying is, to stay away from the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. So I, I thought I'd geek out, hang out here. At, I'm glad uh, you yeah. did. I want to geek out to you and thank you. Um, one of the things, like your career, right? Career yeah. <laughs> starts with because it's it's you never meant to be on TV and be doing all this. Thing, no, correct? no, no, no. They don't put guys that look like this on TV. Yeah. Um, you know. Hey, why do you think I'm on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, we we won. They, you know, we, nobody we, can stop me. What you do on the internet? Yeah, any guys who are just like, oh, you know, uh, we we make it, you know, ugly guys out there. Yeah. Uh, you got a chance. You got a big chance. That's what you do now. The you internet gotta, can't stop you. Isn't yeah. that right, Kev? Yeah. Yeah. Show you show your beautiful locks on there. You think they put that on ABC television? They want to put that in. There it is. Them locks. Shaking them up. Um, so you're on this now because you know Kevin, because you've been friends, because way back in the day, <laughs> you built the ViewSQ website, right? Yeah, it all started uh, after he made his first movie, Clerks, that yeah. black and white raunchy movie that launched uh, uh, the two, Jane and Bob, brought Jane and Bob to the world, and Dante and Randall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I saw that movie. I, I loved it. Never seen a movie like that before. I was like, whoa, this is amazing. Never a dialogue like this before. Yeah. Wanted to express my fandom, and back then there was no no Twitter, no Facebook, yep. no Tumblr, no no anything. But I was learning how to build websites. And back then, if you wanted to build a website, you had to be like that weird dude in Mr. Robot. It was uh, you know you had to had seriously to hack the code, yeah, have your the carrots code. in there, your yeah, brackets. Yeah, you had to you know see imaginary fathers and get pushed out windows or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> I met this dude, taught me how to build websites, and I was like, I'm going to build a clerk's website. Yeah. And um, not only that, I'm going to build the best clerk's website ever built. And uh, in order to do that, I needed cool content. Everyone had photos and sound clips and whatever, but I went on and bought, uh, for you old kids out there, a laser disc. Oh, yeah. I don't know oh, if you yeah. remember that. Precursor to a DVD, uh, had a bunch of cut scenes and special features on there. Yeah. Went out, bought that, ripped all that special content off. Sure you did. Why not? Fuck copyrights. Yeah, put it up online. You know, I'm Asian. We have no copyrights in our in my in my motherland. <laughs> no copyrights. And uh, put it all up online, made it the ultimate clerk site. Never thinking that you know someone might come down on me. Yeah, and one day I get an email from uh, uh, someone that was working with Kevin that just said, uh, "We've seen what you've done. Call us tomorrow." Okay. You know, Kevin wants to talk to you, and that was it. I was like, "Uh oh." Yeah. I've been caught. So I was like, "Crap! I think uh, should I burn down my apartment? Do <laughs> I, you know, do I hit run the, back to the motherland? Yeah, do I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I hit the burn <laughs> button and just destroy or put nails through my hard drive? Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'll call, see what happens. Yeah. At least." The wor- you know, at the at very best, I get to talk to Kevin. Yeah, yeah. At very worst, I burned, you know, I commit arson. Sure. Uh, but no, he liked, he loved what I did. Uh, said that he was so glad that someone had the uh, the foresight to put it online where it was accessible to everybody instead yeah. of uh, you know just rich rich uh, cinephiles. And um, said, hey, I like what you did. Uh, I'm going to production call on this movie called Chasing Amy, and I want a website for my whole production company. Yeah. So uh, I built that. That was 20 years ago. And see, for me, I'm on the other side of the screen. I was such a Kevin Smith fan. I loved the View Askew universe so much that I jumped in and I used the View Askew website all the time. I was on the boards all <laughs> the time there talking to people and interacting. And it's that thing of, I always talk about, you know, in this, and when we did the Kevin Smith episode, when we first started Kind of Funny, I tried to express to him, you know, this long winding road of where we're at of 
we call our audience best friends. It's not bullshit. That's how I feel about everybody, right? And Because they know me more than anybody else knows me. And they are all, all tired of hearing this analogy. But it's that thing of, I didn't realize that that was ingrained in me the, because of all the special features that were on the DVDs. I will never forget watching the Mallrats picture-in-picture picture DVD commentary oh where, like, you know, uh, Jay steals Affleck cigarettes and all this stuff. And it was like, these people are, are no longer characters on the screen. They are now people I understand and know and like. Yeah. And that's when it was that I wanted to get into the website. I wanted to go talk to people. I wanted to be part of this community, right? And that's what we've built here. But it was the fact of, like, you know, my fandom goes so nerdy and deep that, like, my photo is in the background of Jane on the Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Because on the boards, you guys ran the get your mug in our pick thing. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, that, yeah. That's the whole thing. If, without you making that website, I wouldn't have the understanding of community I have now. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, that's a big testament to Kevin. He's uh, he's he's always a step ahead of everybody else. Yeah. Um, the website uh, had me set up a you know a very crude message board. Yeah. But uh, you know at the time, um, at the time it was very crude. But he would go on and answer people's questions. If you and if you wanted to ask him, if you wanted to talk to Kevin, you Here's could go on the way website. To do it. And do Which it sounds this. so bonkers now because there's for us there's Twitch and there's Twitter and there's this and that. And yeah. Back then there was none of that shit. Yeah. Now you could get into arguments with the guys you like. Yeah, you know, now like you can totally could, fucking you, go you, after everybody. You could get into wars, but back then there was nothing like that. And uh, we, I set up a message board. That was one thing he really wanted when he asked me to do the do a website for him. Um, the very crude, all text. Oddly enough, it looks exactly like Reddit does now. Yeah. It's weird how things come full circle. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, but it's weird how, you know, that something like that uh, influenced, you know, a generation. And yeah, of influenced course. people like me and you. Yeah, it doing... got us to this point where it's like, that's how I understand how I want to speak to the audience and how, like, this is what I was talking about with the best friend thing of when I meet people and they're like, I don't know, I'm freaking out on how to act. I'm like, I've literally been in your shoes. Like, yeah. I know what it's like to... I feel like I know Ben Affleck, right? Yeah. But I don't know him at all. But I right. know him from watching this and yeah. watch. I just watched. Uh, I just watched Amy the other night, just because I hadn't seen him forever. Yeah. And then to jump into the special features of him coming out and being such a goon in the comic shop, talking to like the yeah. Miramax lady. You're like, God, this is so weird to see them do what we do now. Which yeah. means I might be Batman one day. Yeah, uh, you could be. Uh, yeah. I mean, you 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 got. I'm you, filling out the suit the best I can. You are. It looks. Kevin, cute. I like that we're both wearing Batman shirts today. Yeah. Toss it up. Yeah, okay. good. I, I'm sorry I didn't get the memo. So it's okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We'll let it go. We'll let it slide this okay. time. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. You know, I I should have checked my messages. It's okay. Well, yeah. This all came together hot and heavy last night. It really did. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm it's glad just, it did. Yeah. I, yeah. I, was, I was literally sitting. I mean, it's like not even 12 hours ago. And um, yeah, it's just great how we can create things like this. Uh, yeah. You know, at the, at the touch of a button and in a moment. And so then, real quick, just so if somebody out here doesn't know who you are, okay, running it through. So you make the website. Yes. Then how do you get to being on AMC? <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, it goes from that. Um, I'm building websites. I'm creating merchandise for Kevin. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I started his online store, which you can go to uh, jansonbob.com. And you know, I'm just a geek behind a computer, and I would have yeah. been fine with that. Uh, that led to a couple years later. It led to podcasting. Ah. Uh, Kevin figured the out. The gateway drug. Oh yeah, big gateway <laughs> drug, and uh, you know. Um, that's one that that I think everyone instead of just say no, just say yes to podcasting. <laughs> Start your own podcast. One hundred percent. You got it's an iPhone, thing. don't you? Just yeah. go. <gasps> yeah, but Kevin started podcasting in two thousand seven. So again, way ahead of uh, anybody else. Yeah. And um, that's a guy who needed an outlet where he could talk as much as he <laughs> as he wanted to, say whatever he wanted, do it on his own schedule and and without any restrictions. Yeah. So he found that, and he started a network, and he was like, "Hey, why don't you start a show?" With a uh, fellow comic book man, Mike Zapsik. Yeah. Uh, we have a show called I Sell Comics, and uh, we do another one called The Ming and Mike Show. Uh, Brian and Walt from uh, Comic Book Men also have a podcast where they would uh, they would talk about their own problems and and events, but they would make fun of me. Of course. Every couple uh, episodes. See Kevin, just like you. That's what we do. To, that's what we do to Kevin. It's Kevin the Ming of. Uh, oh of, yeah. Uh, oh of, yeah. Big time. <laughs> at some point, Nick will just wander into this episode and I'm, yell at I'm, Kevin. Just I'm like, sorry, Kevin. I'm it, sorry. It's fine. We just got to be strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, podcasting led to uh, led to AMC. Uh, heard the podcast. Yeah. Uh, they also had this little hit show called Walking Dead. Yeah, which, I've heard of that one. You know, some of you kids might have heard of it. Uh, based on the initial success of Walking Dead. They wanted a companion show based on comic books since Walking Dead was based on a comic book. They didn't really know what they wanted. Sure. But so they contacted King comic book geek himself, Kevin Smith, asked him what he would do, and he was like, Why don't you just rip off that other hit reality show, Pawn Stars? Yeah. But instead of, you know, like signed historical documents and, you know, antiques. I got this old chemistry set. Yeah, Get what the do you fuck think? Out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you think it's worth? Instead of that, let's do something uh, more relevant, more fun, more important than anything else in the world. Comic books and toys. Yep. And shoot inside of a comic book store. 
and um, yeah, genius. Uh, so they kind of paired that with what they heard on the podcast and, uh, and um, combined those two together and created Comic Book Men. And uh, six seasons later, we're, we're God, still going strong. six seasons. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that all, that all comes out of uh, us loving what we do, loving comic, loving toys, yeah. loving geek geekdom, loving pop culture. And, um, and it, just, it just led to that. So we get to express our passions and I love sharing it with other people. Here's what I want to know. I never get to, not never, I shouldn't say that, because Tim and I talk once in a while, but I don't get to get in depth with comics as much as I want to. I read a lot of comics. Yeah. What's the best thing I'm not reading right now? What's that underground hot shit I should be reading? That uh, I don't, don't know that underground, but uh, Image has a book called Paper Girls Out. Um, it's oh written by Brian K. Vaughn. I, I wouldn't Girls. consider it underground, but I think that's... Still not, it's still not mainstream enough. Right. I, everybody, I, if I need to buy somebody a birthday gift, and I'm going to the bookstore. I'm yeah. grabbing trade one and being like, take it. Yeah, if you haven't read it, uh, about four uh, newspaper delivery girls in 1988 Cleveland. Uh, yep. It's kind of like Goonies, but with four girls. Yeah. Getting into these weird uh, interdimensional, time-traveling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, giant slug, uh, you know, um, shenanigans. Um, what I love is, uh, you know, they meet their future selves. Yep. Some will find out their future selves are kind of losers, and, you know, it, it's, it's crazy. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn had written Why the Last Man and a book on Ex Machina. A um, lot of cool stuff. Yeah. So, Paper Girls is fantastic. Yeah, I would I've been saying it for up. a long time, but you can trust him. Yeah. And uh, alongside that, uh, there's a book on Manifest Destiny, which is oh. about the uh, Lewis and Clark expedition. But with a fantasy element, they run into plant-based zombies and giant ladybugs and sea serpents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, um, you know, I, we, 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 went, we went to school. All kids learn about Westward, Westward Ho and the Lewis yeah, and Clark yeah. expedition. Uh, but this makes it way more funner, and this is a book I think they should give to all kids to uh, learn about that expedition. Yeah, like, get them interested in history. Finally. Yeah, it's like sure. All right, I'm maybe people like Colin Moriarty hiding the real history. I want the giant ladybugs. Yeah, it's like sure. Maybe it didn't really exactly happen like this, but you know what? The the history books, it probably didn't happen like that either. Sure. So yeah. Yeah, it was just them killing natives and acting like it was okay. Yeah. Right, it, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that, that's another one which I think everybody right. should be reading. All right, good. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kind of Funny morning show each and every weekday here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. We come to you with the nerdy news you need to know about before jumping to the chat to answer your questions, comments, and concerns. In between those two segments, I reach into the internet, grab a video game, and give it to one of you. How do you win? It's simple. Be in the chat or one of the three other ways that gives us money and keeps the lights on, but we'll explain that later. Um, Kevin? Yep. First story? Do we, do we have, or is this breaking news you have? Uh, this is breaking news. Ooh. That seems more important than the other stuff yeah, I have. Yeah, that's why. Do you want to drop drop the link in here? Uh, give me two seconds. All right, well, uh, can people see it yet? No. I hold my ear like this one is breaking news, yeah. but I just yell at Kevin then off screen. Yeah. That's just how you do it. Yeah. Sorry, give me two seconds. I'm furious at you now, Kevin. Thanks. Wait, while you do that, I'll tell you this. You put this on the document. Yeah. We missed the tip yesterday. Yeah. It's G. Logan TN gave a tip and said, Hey guys, can you pass on my YouTube channel to the best friends? I am a small gaming channel who welcomes any and all advice on future content ideas. YouTube.com slash G. Logan TN, all one word. Keep fucking that chicken. We will. <laughs> and then, oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. StarWars.com is reporting. Star Wars Episode Nine and Next Indiana Jones get release dates. Uh, the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm announced today two major upcoming release dates. Star Wars Episode Nine is now set for release on May 24th, 2019. <gasps> directed by Colin... Trevor, Trevor Rao, Trevor Rao. Uh, the film will close out the third Star Wars trilogy. In addition, the fifth chapter of the Indiana Jones series is now confirmed for a July 10th, 2020 release date. Both Steven Spielberg, director of every Indiana Jones film, <laughs> and Harrison Ford will return. StarWars.com, all Star Wars all the time. Except for when it's about Indiana Jones, but no big deal, I'm not gonna yell at you. Wow, so they're going back to the May release dates, yeah. which I love. Yeah, get away from this December business. Yes, and uh, for anybody, uh, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, stay alive until then. You know, I, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, some people are like, what do I have to live for? Episode nine, man. Yeah, there you go, there's yeah. always something. If you're, if you're hanging on, there's Justice League, of course. Which I'm sure will be fantastic, right, yeah. Ming? Yes. Right, Ming? Uh, uh, yes. Right, Ming? Yes! Thank yes. you, it's Jesus! Be awesome. I need that one. I don't. Tr what do you think of the Wonder Woman one? You think that's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be good. It's okay, a good. period piece. It looks like they dumped a ton of money into Getting it, and, and Gal Gadot is, is amazing. She's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Star Wars uh, 2019. May 2019? That's, that's not far off at all. Wow, so yeah, just you live until that date, and then what are we going to do after, though? I I haven't, have you There'll thought about this? There'll be a new trilogy. There, there's going to be a Disney Star there's Wars movie every one. year. Okay, I just not thought. There'll be, a, boy, there'll be the Han Solo, whatever, 
So, Sequel, uh, prequel, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do we, then we'll get, you know, hopefully a Lando movie. Do we get the Dengar movie and the IG-88 movie? Yeah. yeah. Well, Watto. Watto needs this movie already. Yeah. I've and said it before, the... I'll say it again. Watto needs this movie. Watto? Yeah. You, you ever heard of Watto? Watto, yeah, from Phantom Menace. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, we got, we're big Watto fans, and when I say we, I mean me. Oh, okay. But yeah. I got it right uh, here in case you really. forgot. In case you forgot. Ani. Ani. Yeah, will you not remind me of that? I bought like 50 of those thinking I was going to get rich by yep. now oh, and man. be retired. Uh, I even bought, it came with a little voice chip. I bought the little thing that oh, would play the no. voice chip. Oh, yeah, the ComTech, ComTech reader the here com in The ComTech reader, right? yeah. yeah that, <laughs> no, Yeah, no. I, um, if I had a time machine, I wouldn't go back and kill Hitler. I would go back and make sure a young me does not line up at Toys R Us in 1997 buying Waddle For figures. me, it's the thing of like being such a, I'm a huge DC comic nerd. Sure. And so when they finally started making Superman toys yeah. and Total Justice toys, I, I was making my parents buy me too. One for mint on card and one to open and play with. And so in my father's attic are long boxes on top of long boxes that have Superman, Man of Steel figures in there, Total Justice, mint on card. Like so much stupid shit that now when I walk around Comic-Con, I see there they're like $3 and they're not selling. I'm like, ah. Think about it. Your kid's gonna have awesome toys. That's 100 percent correct. It's exciting times. That's 100 percent correct. You know, I think even our kids are like, eh. <laughs> no way. I, it's a, by the time we get there, the toys are so cool now. Like yeah. what they're doing, where they're doing, like you know, the DC Legends series, and it's like all these points of articulation. They're putting out Superboy hey, with all the belts. You don't want to give a little kid a, a toy that has twenty-two points of articulation. Yeah, I do. One of my oh. favorite toys was that Spider-Man with the rubber band inside him that had like all the oh, like yeah. after when McFarlane was doing his yeah, shit, yeah, where you could yeah. make him do everything. That was awesome. Yeah. Don't tell me what I don't want to give my kids. All right. You t you worry about your Rugrats, not mine. I'm just saying there's stages. You give them the simple toys first. Oh and sure. They get a little older. <laughs> right. Okay, that I agree with, yeah. that I agree with, that's fine. When they're about 15, that's when I give them the really points of articulation toys. Uh, yeah, or give them the crappy toys like the, uh, you know, the Power of the Force figures, and then they'll hate you for the rest of your exactly. lives. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, this is how resentment starts, my friends, so... Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll go, we can go mid-level. Give them, you know, the, the Star Wars Black Series, uh, Slave Leia, perhaps. There we go. You know, um, you know, start them out young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Really <laughs> get them into it, yeah, really, really ease them into this. Next story! Let's continue on our comic book rants. Uh, go over at GameSpot.com. Dan Autry says Guardians of the Galaxy star might have revealed yeah. Avenger Force title. Uh, if you you, I mean, you see the stories yesterday that were breaking was the fact that it was uh, Kevin Feig right over there was saying like the Avenger Force title is a spoiler for what happens in Infinity War yeah. or whatever. And everyone's like, what is it going to be? Well, uh, Death of Iron Man or some shit like that. Here we got earlier in the week it was reported the name of the fourth Avengers movie won't be revealed until after Avengers Inf Infinity War is released next year. However, Guardians of the Galaxy star Zoe Saldana may have let it slip in a potential title for the movie. During an interview to promote Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Saldana said that she had finished her scenes for Infinity War and would return to shoot something else she referred to as Gauntlet later in the year. Check out the video below. <sighs> I, and, and, yeah, is that a spoiler? Ave what? Avengers Infinity <laughs> Gauntlet is what they... Is that... That's not a spoiler. No, I mean, if you're, I, I'm going to guess if you're watching this, uh, you know, if you know what this is on, on my friend's shirt right here, um, you know, if, if you have half a brain, yeah. it's not a spoil. You knew that was coming up. Well, I mean, like, that's, I mean, <laughs> Thanos has pulled it out in the, in the Easter eggs of the movie so far, right? Like, we, I, and that can't be the real title. That's got to be the working title. Yeah. You wouldn't tell the actors your spoiler title. No. No, because, you know, actors are, you know, they're, they're not that smart. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. you know, they like they to talk. To with exactly. The press, too. Yeah, they, exactly. They got it up there. Because, I mean, yeah, what, that, that wouldn't be a spoiler. Yeah. Infinity Gauntlet, well, like what? So like, oh, the Gauntlet survives Infinity War, of course. Yeah, that's uh, that's the reason why uh, stuff like Star Wars or or these, uh, you know, they only give actors like pages or half a script. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Because they know they have big mouths and they're exactly. gonna they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna reveal screw things. This up. Yeah, uh, I am excited to find. I'm more the more and more we talk about Infinity War, the more and more I get excited for it to see all these people on the same screen finally fighting Thanos. See what happens. Uh, you know, I'm hearing rumors. I'm seeing cast lists. Mm -hmm. It's like, it it's like I'm an acid trip. And dreaming at the yeah. same time that, you know, these are my wildest dreams come true. These are our wildest dreams come true. See all these characters coming together uh, on on the big screen right. that, you know, we read as kids. We're like, they'll never make a movie yep. of this. Well, do, I mean, do you remember? I mean, like, it's so hard to explain it to you, people who are in their teens now. But I remember when we'd get Wizard Magazine and you'd <laughs> open it up and they're like, what's a, what's a magazine? Well, exactly, geez, right? <laughs> we're casting this movie with a dream cast. And you'd be like, oh, to live in a world where they would make a Justice League movie, where they would make an Avengers yeah. or a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yeah. And now we take it all for granted. Like, I'll never forget when they put out that first uh, video on and it was... 
uh, it was Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, Tom Holland, and Chris Pratt on set in their outfits, and you were like, holy fuck, is that cool? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, I, I'm, like, I'm just like, is this real? Yeah, like, exactly. I, I, you know, I'm still pinching myself. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, because it's just insane we're finally at this point. But to see them all come together, and then like, the fact of like what they talked about yesterday, and the fact that this is drastically going to change what the Marvel Cinematic Universe is like, great, that, shake it up, and yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, do you ever resent the, the little kids of our day now where, you know, they just get this. It's 100%. just given to them. 100%. You know, when we were, <laughs> when we were growing up, you know, we got like David Hasselhoff. Yeah. He was Nick Fury at one point. Yep. Uh, oh, Dolph yeah. Lundgren yeah. was the Punisher. Uh, we had a very bad. Uh, there was a Spider-Man TV show on this yep. late series that Stan Lee won't even acknowledge. Of course. You know that that's what that was the best that they had to give. That was the only thing we had. Yeah. And we had to like it because uh, if we didn't, it would. Well, you got nothing else. Yeah. yeah and you they got would nothing maybe else. never make it again. Exactly. So no. I, I, <laughs> I, for me, it's always the juxtaposition of I remember being a kid reading the Superman book and he was fighting the Toy Man and they broke they busted into a toy store. And like on the wall was this wall of carded uh, Superman action figures that had like totally random drill down. Like, can you imagine going into a store and buying a Mr. Mixelplick figure? Like, yeah. wouldn't that be crazy? And then to jump ahead, uh, you know, decades, and I was walking through a, a Target with my friend's kids, and they wanted to go buy baseball bats or something because they're loser yeah. sports yeah. kids. Yeah. And we cut down <laughs> one of the action figure aisles, and it was that. I looked, and it was a giant wall of DC, like, play school toys. Like, it was, like, for yeah, little kids, yep. and it, they had a Brainiac, and, and I was like, do I need, will this exist when I have children? Should I buy all this now right. and put it in an attic somewhere? Yeah. Because that's, like, you don't know what you have right now. We have that all in an attic, a bunch of toys. But not so these say, toys. Don't let them get it. These are again. cool toys. Yeah, Cooler. That, that attic, that's the vault, man. Don't ch don't mess with the vault. Yeah, yeah, these yeah, are, yeah, yeah. These are, yeah, these... Did, did you get him? No. Oh, okay. Well, At that time, well, I hadn't met the love of my life. Did you all be upset all? So I didn't know I was going to have the children. So now that I do, now I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I should have gone back in time and done that. Yeah. But I didn't. And here we are. Yeah, now, uh, you know, you can buy on the secondary market now. And, now, for, and that's the hopeful. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy them cheap. And then, yeah, you know, uh, be cheap, maybe not so much. You, you might be paying five times uh, what they cost. No, not for this. Though. The market's flooded with toys now. Okay, Everything, thank God. It's right. over. Everything's screwed. You can't get anything cheap. Uh, next story, a video game one from GameSpot.com. Oscar Dea says, Resident Evil 7's Not a Hero DLC delayed. Capcom has announced that Resident Evil 7's Not a Hero expansion, which stars a fan favorite character, has been delayed. The DLC, DLC was originally meant to launch this spring, but will now come at a later unconfirmed date. An official video, uh, game director, uh, said the reason for the delay is so the team can improve the free add-on to live up to the positive reception the game has received. Quote, in light of the incredible reception of Resident Evil 7, we concluded that this DLC was not good enough to meet those high expectations. All right. Good enough reason to hold it back. Did you okay. play Resident Evil 7? Uh, I haven't played 7 yet. Okay. But uh, I love that they have integrity, and they're like, you know what? This isn't good enough. Let's uh, let's perfect it. And uh, we, I, I can wait. Yeah. I can wait. Yeah, yeah, and that was the thing. Resident Evil 7 was so good, and it was such a step in the right direction for Capcom for that series, because that's been struggling for a while, that I think it, it makes more sense, yeah, to hold off here and be like, let's let's nail it. Let's not screw this up. And go yeah, and we, we've seen things that are rushed. Yeah. And a lot. we see what what happens. It's it's never good. Yeah, it's never good. So yeah, um, yeah. I, I, yet another reason to live longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yet another reason to keep going in life. Uh, Again, that's know. the thing is that you know <laughs> there's always going to be another video game. There's always going to be another comic crossover. There's always going to be another movie you need to be around for. Yeah, S suicide is the topic on the Game Over Greggy show today. <laughs> you can check it out at <laughs> kindoffunny.com. Don't kill yourself, as I've said many a time. Yeah, you know, not to make light of you know, since I know that, but you know what, you know, if you run a hotline, and you're like, listen. Yeah. You you have. <laughs> you're going through in the hotline checklist of family, yeah. friends. They got none. They got none. What animals? No. Well, what about? Don't you want to know what happened? What about? What's Avenger Force title going to be? Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> don't know, you want to know that? You know, May 2019 Star Wars episode. Do you nine. think about that? Because I often think about if I could time travel. Yeah. One of the things I would do is go to the future oh, and yeah. then just buy all the Blu-rays of the movies I want to see and come yeah. back and watch it. How does the cinematic universe for DC end? Does it end in a, in a flaming train wreck somewhere? Yeah. Or do, do we actually turn this around and get there where we need to be? Yeah. That's and, what I want to know. And then when we watch it, what if it sucks? And can you know? Can we go and change it? Can oh, we go wow. To, can we go... You I know, have thought about that because you know how like David Goyer was like, if I was Suicide Squad, I would have done this, I would have done that. I'm like, what if I could take the movie and go back to him and be like, here's what you made. People really didn't like it. It won an Oscar, but not for the right reasons. You got to change. <laughs> you got to, I got to change. How great was that? But he was like, hey, sit down. Yeah, yeah. You're like all, all indignant and magic. Yeah, he was yeah. like, why, why, what, what's wrong? Sit down, watch this. Let me know what you think. And then, you know, then, then you dissect it. We could make it better though. Yeah. 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 We, this is a movie right here. 
Yeah, we is. should do this. The fixers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Copyright it right now. Yeah. yeah, don't, yeah exactly. <laughs> don't tell Kevin. He'll actually write it and make it, and then we'll never. Yeah, he, not my Kevin. My Kevin won't do anything. You're Kevin. Yeah. You know what? He can do it. Uh, just put us in it. Just put us in it. Somewhere. Okay. That's fine. There yeah. you go. Yeah. We got another one for you. Brought up on a podcast, just like Tusk. There yeah. you go. Done. Do it. <laughs> Print it. Make it happen. Uh, next story, we're jumping to IGN.com, where Chris Morgan says, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite release date, collector's edition announced. Capcom has announced that Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite will be released on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on September 19th, 2017. The release date was announced with a new trailer, which also revealed the first details on the game's story and its villain, Ultron Sigma, a combo of Marvel's Ooh. Ultron and Sigma, the big bad from Mega Man X. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is now also available for pre-order at most retailers. Uh, Capcom also revealed, if you want to scroll down, Cap, two premium editions for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. A deluxe edition will be available for 90 bucks and include access to six post-launch characters, the first of which will be Sigma. Uh, a $200 collector edition was also revealed, which will include four interlinking statues of Mega Man, Chun-Li, Car Captain Marvel, and Iron Man, as well as a box of light-up Infinity Stones. Oh, man. That's awesome. All right, hold on now. The statues, I was like, they're probably going to be a crappy thing, but you get down to actually having the... Oh, oh. Light up infinity gems. Yeah, okay. I, I don't even need the game. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. This is something you just buy and give away the game. You're like, whatever. Can we can we just take the gems and, and do what we what do we want with them? Uh, you know, Can we roll up to the club and like, hey, and, oh, <laughs> sorry, sir, uh, yeah, right yeah, this way. Come right in. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you had the infinity stones. Come on in. Or, you what know, you roll doing? up to restaurants with lines coming in. Like, oh, right this way, sir. It's like, good fellas. We just roll in through the yeah, back yeah, door they're, with they're the bringing, gems. They're bringing they're, the table they're in. They're bringing the table. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To a lovely montage. Yeah. Good fellas. Great movie, Kevin. <laughs> Fantastic movie. You ever watch it, Kev? Many times. Yeah. All right, good. Well, you ever make Paula watch it? Uh, not yet. But I think she'll love it. She better. I know she will. Okay, good. Yeah, just real quick. I love this. Uh, I'm, I'm an old man, so I remember playing Street Fighter 2 and then later, yeah. you know, Hyper Fighting, you know, Championship Edition. And uh, I, I became strongly addicted to those games back in the day where, uh, you know, if you were good, you could play on one quarter. And, um, you know, I was a college student. I was starving. Like, I was literally fighting for, for food, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fighting, <laughs> literally fighting for, you know, so, so, so I could eat, you know, because if I sucked, I would spend more quarters. Spend more money on that game, so uh, you know if you were good, you know that means you could. Yeah, I could eat Taco Bell that day. Sure, so, oh, yeah, totally. But to see that it's still going and at this high level, and there are tournaments, and uh, and 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 you know things, you know like Twitch streaming, yeah, and that you know I could fight people in other countries, mind blowing. So. I mean, that's you, you talk, we talked about earlier, right? Of like how kids don't know how good they have it now, but it's the same way. Is that we all grew up and then just never stopped caring about our toys yeah. and our video games, so now we've el escalated everything else. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Lesson learned, uh, you know, keep living and never grow up. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You can do whatever you want. You can be on AMC. I, it, it worked out for me. Yeah, <laughs> it can work out for you, too. It could work for you, too. But friend Kevin Smith. <laughs> Kevin, you have breaking news. What time? No, I just, do you want to do tips? I want to do you. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, oh, my apologies. Hey. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Let's check in with the tips. See what's happening over here. Uh, Cancer Cookie says, hey, Greg, congratulations on everything. I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Thank you. It's my first time on the show since... Announcing that we moved Jen to America, my girlfriend. Yes, from I Montreal. saw. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We have an awesome new apartment we're moving into. It's very exciting. Congratulations. And I hit a million Twitter followers today. Way huge congratulations. Still, more stuff still to come, obviously. Friday, I'm going to win 300 bucks playing Mario Kart. I'm going to beat the shit out of Average yes. Josh. Um, I'm, I'm pulling for you. Thank you. No, you don't, you don't even have to pull. Average Josh has got nothing. Zyger's all talk. I, um, I see those three things on your checklist. One, uh, you got a, a very beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Um, which uh, you're, people were like, hey, if you sitting on a computer playing video games, you'll never get a girlfriend. Exactly, fuck you guys. Um, two, uh, reading comics uh, will never get you out of your mother's basement, so you got your own place. Fuck you. And three, uh, you'll never become popular, uh, you know, reading comics yeah. and uh, doing all this geek stuff, million followers. Yeah. Uh, you, you've smashed all those stereotypes, and uh, congratulations. Thank That's you. That's what I'm congratulating you. you on. Biggest announcement well is not even here yet. You'll see it when it happens, ladies and gentlemen. I don't use the word hero very often, but you, <laughs> my friend. Trendsetter is a word today, thrown around quite a bit. Are the, is, you're the greatest American hero, wow. you know, at least for today. So. Thank you. Okay, I'll take that. I'll put it on my book jacket. Yeah. A horrible Chicken gave us a tip and said, whatever happened to Linda from Portillo's? Also, you got to update kindoffunny.com. Andy and Joey ain't on there as employees. Fun clip. Was the clip fun? No. Not a fun clip. Well, I mean, we've done it before. 
Okay, your fun club has been fun before, so it can't be fun again. Uh, Linda from Portillo's, we don't know. It turned out, remember, we were calling the wrong Portillo's because we went to have a meet and greet at that Portillo's, and it turned out we were calling a different one we thought it was. Were you talking about the hot dog place in Chicago? Okay. Yeah, I'm, and my dog is named Portillo. I'm the world's biggest Portillo's fan. Wow. I have, a, I have my, In Chicago, I got to sign an autograph photo, and they put it up. Wow, uh, yeah. I was recently there, uh, and if you haven't had it, you need to go to Chicago right now, book a ticket, and get something called a cake shake. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Get the cake oh, we know the cake shake. It's literally a, a milkshake where they throw in a whole piece of chocolate cake. You, yeah. You're drinking cake. It's so the best good. thing in the world. It's awesome. Portillo's is amazing. You know this. And of course, remember, when you go there, don't tweet me what to get. There's a video on kindoffunny.com. You put Greg Miller recommended Portillo order into the YouTube, you'll find it. Uh, we will update kindoffunny.com as well to add Andy and Joey eventually. If we're being honest, Andy's just not working out. And we don't know what we're going to do with him. They don't tell him. He's not watching this. You know what I mean? He's definitely watching. He's like 15 minutes late to the morning meeting today. He doesn't even know what's happening here. He's watching, though. He's not watching this. I go by I go by this new hire's desk. You know what he's doing? He's looking at Gundams all day long. Every day, every day I go by there, he's looking at a new Gundam. <laughs> I, I was figuring, yeah, either he's on his way out, or is it like Gilligan's Island where you have to earn it? Remember the, the credits that Gilligan's Island was, uh, you know, the, uh, you know the, the captain and the rest? Oh, yeah, yeah, And then yeah, when yeah, they yeah. earned it, it was, it was a... Surrender. Yeah. Mary, yeah, 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 they got yeah. added on later, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you gotta earn that. You, you gotta, gotta earn, you you gotta earn, earn the credits, my All right, friend. calm yeah. down. God, I sound so old. We, it, a lot of your references, I mean, I get them. Yeah. I'm old as well. Me too. Okay. The yeah. kids out there, they're like, what the, what's, what's a Gilligan's, what's Gilligan's Island? Island? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure the reboot with Kevin Hart and The Rock is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Viking Jesus gave us a tip and said, had to unsub for a few months because money was tight. Making up for it now. Grats on the million Twitter followers, Greg. P.S. Hashtag Team Zyger. We'll oh, see. It was all good to the end there, huh? Yeah, it was all good. At least he's not Average Josh. Team Average Josh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Friday, 12.30, Mario Kart all day long. Sign up at kindoffunny.com slash Mario Kart. I'll kick your ass. Ignacio Rojas says, parentheses, loud WWE voice. So I've been hearing all this talk about how you'll beat Zyger and Sean and whoever else at Mario Kart 8 and how you are coming for them and blah, blah, blah. But what does that make us? The rest? Yeah. I, mean, I can't go through. There's like nine pages of people I'm playing Mario Kart with. On Friday, 12.30 here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games until 5 o'clock. I can't go through every name. So I got to call out the ones who have made videos and made a big deal. Zyger, of course, $150 riding on him. Sean Pitts put $150 on him as well. I'm going to take all their fucking money and I'm going to burn it. Average Josh started shit on Twitter too. Had to do that. Another kid started sh shit on Twitter. I called him out in that video. Then he's like, I don't even have the game. I'm like, well, what the fuck was this about? Why, why do I do this? It's, it's all trash talking. <laughs> But I think you have another career here, my friend. Going back, that wrestling voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's very Bobby the Brain Heenan, my friend. I'll show you some videos here in a minute. Yeah. There's also two more tweets that he wrote that you're going to continue. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's still... Okay, you're right. Ignacio Rojas. I'm going to continue with the next two back-to-back. -back. Am I the opening act? <laughs> Just an appetizer for the real thing? No, sir, I am not. When will you realize I am your one true rival? Not any of these losers. I'm hereby challenging you, Greg Coward Miller. I'm tossing my own 50 bucks on the ring. Will you accept the challenge or will you hide behind some guy who can barely pick up a controller from all the amiibos in his hands and a pair of nobodies? This, uh, this passes for trash talk these days. Yeah. You kids, man. You have no idea. We... You, what, if, what should he have done? What should he have put in there? I, uh, you what know, should he have peppered into his trash talk? Uh, just, that, 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 was, that was just weak. Just, that was weak. just weak? Wow. One way, way too long. Yeah. Get down, get dirty, get to the point. Okay, yeah. all right, interesting. Well, based on that, I can accept your challenge. I think you, you Ignacio, you have yeah, a week. Was, well, not a week. You have a couple more days to figure out a better promo. Maybe you should put up a promo like I did. I put up a wrestling promo. Kevin, are you about to show it? Yep. I put up this wrestling promo. Oh. Ignacio, where was yours? Yeah, you can rate my promo. Okay. We won't show you the whole two minutes. Fire. And Josh, try to keep up. My name's Greg Miller, and I challenge all of you on April 28th to come play me in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo fucking Switch. Now, when I started this, when I said I was the best Mario Kart player around, it was just little Zyger I wanted to take and punt into the fucking sun. But guess what? Adam and Josh 
You decided to open your fat fucking mouths and get involved too. So now it's all of you. All of you come to twitch.tv slash kinda funny games and try to keep up. Now you can stop. There. My name is Brian. <laughs> we don't need to keep watching me. It's available, of course, on kindaflay.com. And yeah, the messaging, I, I've gone after the three-headed monster there in the beginning. With, one of the heads doesn't have a switch and didn't You thought I was playing double dash. I have no idea how he's so high he got that confused. But it's everybody. All the best friends. You know what to do. Kindoffunny.com slash Mario Kart. I'm only betting right now on Zyger being bad. Average Josh, I'm just going to clean the clock just to prove a point. And everybody else is going to do it. BTW for in that today. I have to figure out how to make you make it. we all play together. So don't worry. I'm on it. We'll have news soon. Thanks, Kevin, for the thumbs up. And everybody, show, just show a little skin. Oh, yeah, that's what you got to do. That's what the kids want. Yeah. That's an attitude era promo. It's a little bit more than a little scary. All right, Kevin. Next tip comes from Andrew <laughs> Dixon. Greg, will Jen and Portillo still love you when Zyger destroys you in Mario Kart 8 on Friday? Hashtag <laughs> bend over, Greggy. That's a good hashtag. Fuck you. Clever. Clever. I'll give you points for that. Wow, the assassin. Oh, here we go. Now, here we go. This is the assassin AK-47. I was impressed there because I saw he gave a healthy tip. Thank you very much. But then this is, I, he put a YouTube video in here. I assume this is the video he has been warning me was coming for days now on end. All right, so, hold on, don't, don't start sorry, yet here. Sorry, sorry. The, assassin, uh, the assassin, AK-47, says, Hello, Greg, I told you it was coming. Let's see if you actually have the guts to click on this link. Is it inappropriate? No, it's going to be him challenging me to Mario Kart as well. All right, the pr wrestling promos continue, yeah. I already tell you for his presentation. <laughs> Sorry, he sent it with the time of mm. 25 seconds. I yeah. think he, it's a long one. What do you want to do, Kev? I'm going to just play it with the time code he sent. You sent it with the time code, so we're starting with the time code. It's better be good. All right, wait, sorry, hold on. Let me, yeah, it's whatever. better be good. Just hit, just hit. What are you doing? Nope. You weren't, you're, you're giving away our, our Oh, goal. no. Yeah, <laughs> and that's my boy, Zyger. I'm going to take Zyger on the way. He's going to kick your fucking ass. April 28th. You best believe it, buddy. Now let's get down to brass tacks. Me and you, mano a mano, Greg. It's been a lot of month, I ain't heard from you. I guess you've been watching so many of my videos that you finally see that you're no match for the assassin, AK-47. I mean, I will understand. Nick Scarpino took your championship. I guess you don't want me to take your dignity as well. <laughs> I do. So what do you say now, Greg? You still thinking about it? You still contemplating? You know what? I think you're scared. That's right, scared, because you don't want to show the world that you're not as great as you think you are. There's a new sheriff in town, and that sheriff, it's me. So, Greg, what's it gonna be? I'll let you marinate on it, because apparently you got a lot of shit going on, and you don't want to deal with this right now, but I'm telling you, I'm not going anywhere, so you better give me an answer soon. And what else is soon? And that's kind of funny live three. Either way, I will see you there, Greg. Just make sure you bring your balls with you. That was good. So he just walked out. I guess that's it for him. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, uh, uh, hello, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to the Ming Show. <laughs> Live here in San Francisco. Oh, wait, all right. Oh, Andy's going to come here in we and help go. you out. No, no, no. I just want to sit down and talk for a bit. How are we doing today, guys? We good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing Did you watch the show you? today? Huh? No, I haven't been watching there it There was all. a lot of shit being talked about you. Lo oh, really? I tried to defend you. Okay, what are they saying? What type of stuff? I don't want to repeat it. Like racial things? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like your work ethic. Okay. You've been oh, looking at Gundam ethic. pictures all day. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, showing yeah. up late. Apparently, there's a mention of tardiness. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know anything today. about that. Yeah. You don't have a was... mic on, so you sound really bad. Do I? Do I? Do I yeah. sound awful? How about you just get out? Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna leave. Thank, thanks for coming. Assassin, AK forty seven, and every motherfucking kind of funny best friend out there. What does a grown man have to do to get some peace and quiet around here? All I want to do is play some Mario Kart Friday, April 28th, against all the best friends and have a lot of fun and prove that I am better at Mario Kart 
than Zyger and Average Josh and that kid Adam who doesn't even have Mario Kart and somehow got confused about which Mario Kart we're playing and that doesn't make any sense to me. Aside from all that, how many more of you want to come out of the woodwork and ask me to throw down money, my hard-earned money that most of you have given me via Patreon and or Twitch, and I tell you what, I just want to play some Mario Kart with you, but you all keep antagonizing me. They all keep making me so tough. They bring up the fact that you beat me. Get out of here! Everybody <laughs> oh get out of here! Panel. I've had enough of this, everybody! All of you bring it on Friday! I don't give a fuck who you are, where you're from, what you want to bet. You're not betting anything anymore! All you're doing is coming here and getting your fucking ass beat in by me. I want to say to you, Assassin AK-47, I don't like you bringing up the Nick thing. I don't like you wearing the Nick shirt. I don't like you challenging me. I'm impressed you have a 100,000 subscriber button behind you and I didn't know that. A good job on YouTube. I say this, everyone. Friday, April 28th, Mario Kart all day. Can you beat me? No, you can't. All you can do is try to keep up. He knocked out Nick. Well done, everybody. Well done. <laughs> I think I might have to stay till Friday and see how this plays out. I, I was supposed to go home tomorrow, but the, uh, why go home? Are you all right, my friend? What just happened? Are you okay? I'm acting right now. It's <laughs> difficult. It's too hard. How's the show going so far? So far, so good, yeah. Did Greg tell you he was going to do that, or did he just do what he normally uh, no, does? No, just no, leave no, the room, no, just oh, left oh, you on yeah, camera yeah. No, 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 no. That, that, hey, I, I'm totally used to that. I'm totally, I appreciate that. I'm totally used to carrying shows, uh, <laughs> watch comic book men. Uh, you uh, know, exactly. Hey, you are the star, honest, by yeah. the way. Let's be honest. Yeah. Everyone else is just... Uh, they're just going through the motions on that show. Yeah. Oh, look, Greg's back. Oh, hey, guys. I'm sorry. I disappeared for a second. That's I blacked okay. out. What happened? Uh, nothing. I have, I, a, I, have a, <laughs> I have this weird bruise on my forehead oh, for no, no reason. Sorry about Actually, that. do you have a bruise? But it's not from you. There you go. Oh. There you go. It, it'll heal. Well, you know, bruises heal, but, you know, pride, integrity. It stays wounded forever. Sure, yes. <laughs> Lunch after this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You earned it, my friend. You earned it. <laughs> Next tip comes from Spidey Shay. Spidey Shay says, Thwip, thwip. Winky. <laughs> then Spidey Shay tipped again and said, Thwip, thwip. Winky. <laughs> All right, we got it. Thank you. Do, do you think that little Japanese dude who invented Mario Kart and, you know, anticipated, uh, you know, shirt, you know, ha crop top dudes <laughs> coming in, uh, throwdowns, you know, uh, uh, fight to the death? It's funny you should say that. Kevin, jump to the second to next, not, yeah, you got it. IGN.com's Hope Corrigan says Mario, uh, Super Mario Kart started off is an F-Zero multiplayer mode. Ooh. 1992 Super Mario Kart was originally conceived as a multiplayer prototype for the SNE la SNES launch title, F-Zero. In an interview with Retro Gamer, original development team members, Shigeru Miyamoto, a whole bunch of other names I can't pronounce because I'm stupid, explained that the fast-paced single-player title F-Zero transitioned into the iconic Super Mario Kart. Our original plan was our original plan didn't include Mario or Karts, they explained. <laughs> the game's root, l roots lie in one of the launch titles for the Super NES F Zero. The game was designed for single player gameplay because of our focus on getting across the sense of speed and the size of the courses. It was a prototype for a multiplayer version of F Zero that ended up being the starting point for Super Mario Kart. And from there, we went through a period of trial and error to find out what worked. So no. Okay. I don't so think they no, did. They, uh, yeah. Okay. They <laughs> I wonder that, but well, I mean, I, I feel that way with everybody who made video games, right? Yeah. Did anyone any, ever set off to do anything and think this is gonna like Kevin Smith? Did he set off to make Clerks and think now I'm gonna have this universe where I'm gonna have them all tie in? Because that's the other thing he doesn't get credit for, having a cinematic universe long before yeah. any of the fucking movies yep. did. So comics smart. Did. Yeah. Thank God he read he read comic books. You know that yeah. was insp his inspiration for that, um, and and it worked, and it's great, and it's awesome, but. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes genius just happens. Yeah. And thank God. Thank, thank God, God, God for, that. for that. Yeah, thank you for everybody who creates things that are cool. Thank you, Kevin. You create cool things. And thank you, little Japanese dude whose name we can't pronounce. For well, we got Miyamoto. Well, Miyamoto. The okay, other guys, God. I'm sorry. It's yeah. just going to be here with me sounding it out. Nobody wants that. Yeah. Nobody but wants from that. From F-Zero to Super Mario Kart. Yeah. I love it. I Not love too it. shabby. Not too shabby. I love it. To crop tops and... Uh, to crop tops and, and screaming yeah. at people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. That's how you do it. Next story. Comes from Giz I I09 on Gizmondo. Titans is the next live action DC TV show, but it won't be on TV. 
It's official. There's another DC TV show on the way to add to your watch list alongside Arrow, Supergirl, Flash, and like a dozen other at this point. And the time, and this time it's live, and this time, it's a live action Teen Titans show, which has been long in development limbo. But there's a twist. It's not gonna be on TV, and neither is the next season of Young Justice. Warner Brothers has confirmed that Titans and Young Justice's third season, entitled Young Justice Outsiders, Ooh, Outsiders, ooh, 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 will, yes. will headline a new DC-focused digital streaming service next year. Not all details were announced for the new platform, other than it will quote unquote deliver an immersive experience designed for DC fans. So expect more than Titans and Young Justice to come. Uh, a Titans TV show has long been in the works at TNT, but the show was scrapped last year. Hard to tell how much, and this is going into the history of that. Uh, DC fan, yes. number one here, right. I'm excited for a DC streaming service because I think I should have a show on it. Uh, beyond yeah. that though, I don't need another streaming service. I. I'm getting poor paying $10 a month for everything. Right? Yeah. Exactly. It's I, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Originally, it was like, let's cut the cord. Let's do, I can yeah. get by on this, that. And now it's yeah. like, well, now yeah. that's more than my fucking cord costs. Yeah, listen, I can do math. I know I'm spending you know, basically a million dollars a month now for, you know, for everything. For yeah. you know, Crunchyroll, for, yep. for, 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 for Dropbox. Crunchyroll, WWE Network, yeah. Netflix, yeah. Amazon stuff. HBO Go, yep. uh, you know, Hulu, whatever. Um, yeah. So... Why, uh, why not just put it on TV? It seems to be working for everybody else. Let's, yeah. let's really... Let's well, they've done that. I mean, and that, that'll be interesting just to see if it's actually good then. Is it, is it a, is a commentary on how they successful they think it'll be? Now, it's interesting because Young Justice, of course, getting the third season because so many people streamed it off of Netflix yeah. and everything. So it isn't that bad of an idea to be like, hey, you already are on that kind of platform. Pay us, hopefully, like $5 a month. But Yeah, whatever. but I, I, I want it to really listen to the masses. I want, you know, the oh, general public... sure. To see, you know, by, you know, Starfire and, yeah. and, and you know, all my, my favorites in the Titans. It'll well, be interesting what they would do, like their library of like the Lego movies and all, like you know, Teen Titans Judas Contract and all that yeah. stuff. Like all their, you know, animated flicks are good for the most part. Do you put them on there? But then, how do you do that without eating into the sales of DVDs, Blu-rays? And stuff? Right, right. But another streaming service. But this time it's DC, so it'll probably be better. Especially when they give Greg Miller a show in there, right? Yeah, it's gonna be good, right? Yeah, right, right. Finally, right? DC's gonna, it's gonna be good. Be good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, those are the news stories. Next thing I wanted to toss out was so many of you have been tweeting me about it. Uh, I hit a million followers over on Twitter. Thank you, Kevin. But what I wanted to say is what I put up in that post there, of course, this is cool. It was nice to wake up to so many congratulatory messages about it. I thank you for that. I wanted to point out, of course, that that is just a vanity number. I'm sure if tomorrow they went in and eliminated bots, I would lose a whole, like, 300,000 or some shit like that. I just wanted you to know... Thank you. I'm glad you care about it, but I'm much more gra grateful that you're here watching, that you are enjoying the content, that you're talking to me about comics, you're talking to me about whatever on Twitter, you're, you're supporting us on Patreon, I see on Reddit. That all matters way more than a vanity number. But thank you, of course, for getting me to this point and letting me live this life, which is, you know, pretty fucking awesome. Right, Ming? You won, my friend. Yeah. You won. Well, you're a winner. The fight keeps going. There's no, never any credits, I've right. noticed. Every time you get to the top of the mountain, there's another mountain right over there. Yeah. Speaking of mountains, Greg Way. Kevin found this video of a blowjob robot. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking this, about it, yeah. This is what I was promised. This is, <laughs> you're like, I want to go to the kind, the kind of funny morning show. Yeah. Now, now, see, that's the thing about this robot is that it definitely, it looks like you're getting a blowjob on a mountain, the way she's dressed. Now, as we look through, you see that it's just, it's just horrifying. Look, looks like a, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Wawa pedal. Uh, for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, look at it, like, look at picture one where they're like, don't put any clothes on right. this blowjob robot. And then there you go. Then put a burlap sack on it. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then now it kind of looks like a person, I yeah, guess. Yeah, lumpy kinda. ass and, uh, there and it boots. Is. There, it's just, that's how it works. I mean, more power to you. Whatever gets wow. to you, yeah. I, uh, is there a street, a street price on this? Uh, I don't know, yeah. Kevin. You've watched the whole video multiple times. You told me you're trying to construct your own. <laughs> There's no... They didn't say a price. It just gotcha. seemed like an announcement. Huh. And then more information will be coming soon. Well, more information on the blowjob robot to come soon. Maybe I it was funny. Maybe they're watching now. Maybe they'll send us one for tryouts. I'm sure Nick would love to get a deep, deep hands-on with the blowjob robot. Or no hands. Or no hands. Yes, yes. Um, is all. there an origin for this robot? Is it Japanese? Is it is this Russian? German? What is it? Aryan Robotics US? there? Service Droid 1.0. Arlen not, not Aryan Arlen. Like, not, I was like, wow. The Aryan race it. expanding Aryan race, into blowjob so, robots. Yes, yes. Listen, the Aryan <laughs> race has got a, a, lot of bad, a lot of bad publicity lately. Let's make a blowjob robot really turn it around. Kevin, what are you seeing here? More? Yeah, there's, there's, wow, well, well done. Uh, I, 
How you found this before me, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is going to be uh, season seven. Yeah, so someone's going to come in and like, what do you price yeah, my blowjob robot? Like, like, well, I like, price this. This is this is there is no value on this. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in. It's 40, dressed as Wonder 45 Woman. Forty-five seconds, and uh, yeah, hey, yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of funny morning show each and every weekday here on twitchtv games. We come to you with the nerdy news you need to know about before. Jump in the chat to answer your questions, comments, and concerns. In between those two segments, I reach the internet. Grab a video game, toss it to one of you. How do you win it? It's quite simple. Be in the chat like so many of you are live right now on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Thank you. Or, if you're not here, you're watching us later on youtube.com slash kindoffunny, or you're listening to us on podcast services around the globe, you have three other ways to enter, three other ways to amplify your chances too, even if you are here. You can subscribe to us on Twitch. It'll get you. The kind of funny logo next to your name. The cool emotes. Private chat time with us. You'll get to play multiplayer games with you like so many of you are on Friday when I beat you all to death in Mario Kart. <laughs> and you get the show ad-free unless we bake them in, which we're not doing today. Um, you also, of course, get an automatically entered and don't need to be here. So if you never want to watch, you just show up on Twitch, you do it there. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, you can give us that free $5 you get every month. It'd be great. Every month you have to redo it. Toss it to somebody. Amazon's taking all your money. Don't you want to do that? Also, since she brought Ming, you should probably go give, uh, let get, let's get Lexi some love, too. Yeah, please. After knowing Alexis so long, it's so hard for me to switch gears and say, let's get Lexi. You know what I mean? Oh, does it feel weird? Like yeah, she's yeah, well, like... It's even weirder now when it's like, <laughs> uh, when I want to say Alexis Kazambolidis, and I got to say Alexis Pence. Yeah. So many different gears to throw here. Right, right. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of things. Uh, I don't have enough brain power for all no, this. No, me so. neither, obviously, clearly. So, yeah. uh, you can also go and support us at patreon.com slash kindoffunny or patreon.com slash games. If you give us two bucks or more, you're automatically entered and don't need to be here to win anything. Today we're giving away the Rogue One pack for Zen Pinball. Now you might say, I don't have Zen Pinball. You don't need Zen Pinball. You get the Rogue One pack, you download the client, and then you got the Rogue One tables for Zen Pinball. It's on PlayStation 4. It is going to do, 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 Patreon Prime user, Chris Gearing. Chris Gearing, you will get an email from me with your Rogue One Zen Pinball table. Congratulations. Hey, Chris. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Good job, Chris. Let's line up your questions, comments, and concerns in the chat. We'll start jumping in that. Let's clear, see, we'll clear out tips here real quick. Got that done. Uh, uh, Alex. Alex Alicia, we'll say. Says, hey, Greg, I can't wait to get murdered by you at Mario Kart on Friday. <laughs> I invited friends over to witness it happen. Don't worry, they won't snitch. Good, thank you. That, that's what I like to see. Those are the kind of comments I want to see. Because guess what? I'm going to get beat a lot on Mario Kart on Friday. Not going to lose to Zyger. Not going to lose to Average Josh. This assassin, AK-47, seems pretty confident. He might beat me. But those first two, no, no chance in hell. No. Uh, Spider Shea gave the final tip. Call in tips. Says, first time, ti first time tipping accidentally tipped twice in a row with the same flip flip. Figured I should just join the fun after being a fan <laughs> since the beyond days. Love all you best friends. We love you. Thank you for the support. Sorry you accidentally tipped. You seem to be in good spirits about it. Now we're jumping in the chat. Questions. <laughs> Comments and concerns. Is that like when you tip a homeless guy and you're like, oh crap, I threw it a, an extra dollar and you gotta like couple together. Oh, sorry, I gotta and, you, you, and you, you can't take it back. But yeah, it's, it's it, gone. But you know what? It's going to a better place. So, aka you guys. So now we jumped into the chat, and the first thing I see are a million Chad references. Now you're getting, you're you're being brought up to speed here. On okay, kind of funny. Sure, what kind sure. of funny is? Kind of funny has a new member named Chad. Chad is this piranha plant. He's a piranha. He's a piranha plant puppet. Right? And every guest who comes on has to put on Chad and give us Chad's voice. Oh, okay. You can make up whatever you want. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Chad. Welcome. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! I, I liked it. You got into <laughs> it. Yeah, no. I love you. I love San Francisco. I, I love... I, I, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. No, great job, Nick. I, this is this is scaring me without you know being able to shoot you know fire you know. Sure, yeah, yeah, exactly. We've we've been we've been taught for a long time to avoid piranha plants. Now we know though. Now we know they can be nice. They can be loving. They can be great. They can make out with you. He could be a blowjob robot if you try hard enough. I. Ooh. No. <laughs> that's, no, God, that that's got to be the scariest. That's a nightmare right there. Like this, or it's your kink. It's whatever, you, man. Um, it's, it's a, I'm gonna judge. Listen, I know I'm Asian, and Asians are into weird things, but <laughs> this is taking it. <laughs> can, can I get a minority report on that? Too far on I mean, that. It's, it's accurate. Accurate. Okay. My apologies. My apologies. Don't yeah. run. Okay. Everybody runs. Jesus I'm gonna run Christ. from this thing now. Thank you, Chad. The crewman. I love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is scary. Take it off! It. Take it off! It. <laughs> uh, Male Power Fantasy says, question. Ask Ming for his thoughts on anime. Anime? What do you think of anime? Uh, I love anime. I'm not... There, there's so much stuff out there for me to keep up with. Yeah. So I'm not super hardcore, uh, but I do love Miyazaki. On my bucket list is to visit the Studio Ghibli Museum. Oh, wow. Um, I want a Totoro bed, like legit. I, I'm married, I have kids, but you know, I may have to sell something and put them all in their own room, but I want the Totoro bed for sure. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah definitely. That's so, awesome. What's your, so what is your favorite anime of all time? Uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, Totoro, definitely. Okay. Um, I'm hoping one day for a GoGo 13 movie. Okay. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen. It's a little heavy for American audiences. But you know, if, if we can get a Ghost in the Shell, we can get a GoGo Thirteen someday. What are your thoughts on uh, Death Note for Netflix? This oh. this live action, <laughs> this live action Willem Dafoe one. I, I, I mean, it's Dafoe. You can't you can't go wrong. Even with uh, even though uh, they put a mask on him for Spider Man way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's hardcore. I, I'm lo- I, I can't wait. I okay. Can't wait. Good. Yeah. I'm looking. I I want to. I, as much. Tim loves Death Note. Yeah. And so I still haven't watched. I watched a little bit of it, like like literally two episodes or whatever when I was up in Montreal and Jen's roommate was watching it. It seems cool. I just haven't had the time to sit down and commit to yeah, it. Yeah. So much to watch. Yeah. But, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing we're talking about. You know how blessed kids are today with all this crap. Like if you would have so told twelve year old Greg like there's gonna be a million DC TV shows, I yeah. would have been like I'm gonna watch every one of them. And now. I barely watch Flash. I DVR it all and then marathon through it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, right. I just um, yeah, we need to be like almost clockwork oranged into this where we're we're just like <laughs> <laughs> like sitting there. No, Except yeah. this time, you know, it's a, it's a good thing. It's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. We enjoy it. That's how we're it's not going to go and kill people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, ATT one says me. How would you fix the Dark Phoenix saga movie? Because after reading it over again after eighteen years, it's not that good. Oh, so <laughs> you're thinking it's dated then? Yeah. Ooh, I, well, and that, but how do you feel about them doing the, the next movie or whatever? The, the X Men franchise is going to be that with uh, Sophie Turner, right? Being Darth. Or ooh, Darth how do you fix it though? Oh man, that's a that's a great question. I just feel like they haven't built up that universe enough to do that already. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I take take your time with it. Uh, you know, don't drag it out too much. We don't need to see like you know origins and all that. But yeah, take take your time. You've got great source material. Yeah. And I, you, why why they don't follow along with it is beyond me. So I, we got great people. I just, just, just put just the leave right. Leave it alone. Just, leave it alone, but put the right, right people behind it. People. Who are the right people anymore? Brian Singer can't be trusted. I'm saying it. Uh, I, okay, yeah, that's 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 true. Um, <laughs> I, I I just stumble for that, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I wish him well. I want him to get there. I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't know. you know what? What happened? Did he is he taking drugs? Like, what? Am I just speculating too You're far? You're probably here? speculating. That's probably gonna end up on TMZ though. That yeah, you, think. you know what? Kevin. AMC's comic book man says Brian Singer doing drugs. Right, let's, bah, let's, bah, bah, bah. let's get Kevin to do it. Uh, you know, yeah. Kevin's always shy to it. He's like, oh, I never do a superhero. I don't movie do action yet. movies. Yeah, either. it's uh, but but you know, he's, and I, he says that, but then he keeps going and fucking directing Supergirl and all these different shows. Like he's enjoying it. Flash. He's doing, yeah. Yeah, and he, and he you're a fucking liar, Kevin Smith. You are. You Everybody are. let him know. Megan and Greg say he's a liar. Uh, I mean, Tweet him it, right now. It's doc. <laughs> it's doc. Remember when he says like, "Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to do movies anymore." Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so. he keeps retiring like Ric Flair coming out of it. Yeah, and uh, you know, if there, I think if there's one guy that could do, I, I know he can do it. Yeah, I know he can do it. Um, I guess uh, you know, like the Matrix, just believe. Yeah. Just Those believe. keep pulling them back in. Don't worry Just about believe. it. Just believe. Yeah, Kevin Smith, Dark Phoenix, done. That's how, that's how you do it. Done. Locked in. All right, yeah, great. locked in. Mm. Persona Gold says, ask Ming about his shoe fetish. He loves them. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like women in heels. I don't, I, I, I'm not. <laughs> Hell yeah. I do. I, love women. I think women look great in heels. Sure. I, I, um, that's just a fact. It's just a fact. There you go. We got a guy that agrees with me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, this, is this like a hotbed issue with the, uh, it's on been the podcast? Up, it's been brought up on several podcasts, yeah. Huh. It's right. been brought up on several podcasts. Uh, am I going to department stores and, and, and sniffing and the shoes? Sniffing no, 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 no. shoes and stealing them? No, absolutely not. Okay. But, but uh, yeah, I love. You know, it's not just the heels, but the woman and her, her, her attitude. And, uh, and you know, this, this goes back to uh, like the 1940s and, uh, and the, you know, like thigh highs and victory curls and like, like fishnets. You've thought, you you thought of three on this. Yeah, but any guy who tells me that's not hot is a liar. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I think my, I mean, high heels signify getting dressed up. I think that's part absolutely. of it. Absolutely. So to all your, your, your lady viewers out there rocking yeah. the heels... Keep doing what you're doing. Good for you. Uh, to some of your males that do it, uh, you know, more power Good to you, you because yeah, yeah. Uh, 
you know, it's 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 a good thing. Hmm. <laughs> what, a, what a weird, not a weird question, but one that I didn't think I'd be getting today. So no, hats no. off to you. Welcome to the friend. internet. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, welcome to the internet. Uh, greedy the heels will fix a dark Venus saga. Exactly. By the way. That's all they need. Yeah. Uh, greedy ear says, have Ming and or yourself been reading Moonshine? Brian Azarello. I can never. Azarello. Yeah. I've not read Moonshine. Yeah, me neither. I haven't. I've read Moon Knight, but Moonshine. I've dr I've drink Moonshine. Yeah. It's a it's a recent. Hipster trend right now. Oh, like um, the one you buy out of the stores? Or yeah, whatever? yeah, yeah. Although yeah. I was at a con once and uh, a, a fan slid over a little mason jar. I was like, hey man, I, uh, I, I, I brewed this myself. You drink it? I didn't drink it. Yeah, no, you're, I, you're making the right call. Um, I, I value my eyesight. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And no, that was the thing. Yeah, you know, I went to college <laughs> in Missouri and like okay. Columbia. Very, it's like any other college town. Yeah. It's awesome. It's progressive. But like kids would come in from backwater right. country, and this one guy Walter brought in moonshine his dad made, <laughs> and like it was you drank it, and you're like this is oh my, this is horrible. Yeah. And then when we went home after the tailgate, we had a concrete porch, and he's like it'll light on fire. We're like no, it won't. He poured a little on the ground and lit it, <laughs> and no, he lit it and nothing happened. And I was like, that's weird. And I took the broom and I went over it and it was burning so hot, the My flame God. was clear and it, the broom exploded. I was like, <laughs> that's terrifying. Yeah. I don't know how to deal with that information. Yeah, but you know, purely American. So, you know, uh, are, are we un-American if I don't drink moonshine that somebody slides over to me at a con table? No, you can't do it. You can't go around eating and <laughs> trusting everything you get, a, you get at the cons. I, we do it all the time. You know, I can't do it. I can't do it all the time if it's homemade. Yeah, but based on that and the flameless fire, uh, moonshine, top of my pull list. So right. thank you very right, much, right, my right. friend. Yeah, Brian Azzarello is solid. So. Uh, final non sub. Final question from a non sub. Okay. Keep him here, says Ming. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> this is a hotbed issue well, right this now. This is, uh, and if I, answer, if I answer incorrectly, I could get killed in the city over this, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Our audience, especially. Yeah. Now, I'm from the East Coast. Uh, no argument. Some Home of some of the best pizza in the world. Sure. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, I'm Asian. I've eaten some weird stuff. Sure. Uh, fish eyes, snails. Um, pineapple and pizza, if paired with, with ham, and uh, I've been drinking moonshine, <laughs> abso-freaking-lutely. Abso okay. Uh, abso-freaking-lutely. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I was just drunk in, in Scotland not a week ago. Yeah. Uh, I was drunk on gin, and I was like, hey, maybe this would be a good idea. Haggis, Scottish meat pie, and a fried Mars bar. And I finished all three of them. Jesus, okay. So I got a pretty cast iron stomach. So pineapple and pizza... Uh, with, paired with ham, it's got to be with ham. I'm all for it. Okay, there you go. Uh, but if if drunk on moonshine, not if you're sober, stick stick to the stick to the basics. Tops. Why are we getting crazy about Pepperoni, it? Pepperoni, you know I mean? sausage. Uh, yeah. You know what do they give you at uh, at Round Table, which they which is big out here. Yeah. Round Table pizza. Yeah, yeah. Round table, like pizza yeah. of the Round Table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pizza of the Round pizza Table. Pizza of the Round Table, sire. I have brought you, bequeathed you. The pizza of From the, the long ago ages yes. comes this pizza with pepperoni. <laughs> uh, my dog Nick96 says, Ming, do you read Invincible? I do read Invincible. Fuck love, yes, you do. Love Robert Kirkman. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to Skybound a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. They got an awesome office. It's a beautiful office. Uh, I had the pleasure of running into Robert Kirkman coming on the way in. Uh, I love how, uh, like walk, Walking Dead, they throw these little Invincible Easter eggs, yeah. uh, little figures. I I love it. I follow it. I read it, um, and I I, I want, want to see it uh, live action. What do you think? Yeah, are you excited about the movie? I am excited. I think yes. I think Rogan and crew. I think they can do it. I think yeah. Evan Goldberg. Yeah, they yeah. got it. They got it. I'm excited. Uh, wish I came from a family of, of superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, his life. I mean, Mark's life is rough. I don't yeah. Know if I could it, it, is, it. it is rough, but uh, you know, um, it, you know, I, you know, all dads are superheroes. You know, Father's Day is coming up. Sure. But uh, you know, I wish my dad went you know went off on secret missions and uh, maybe. I'm gone a lot. I go to a lot of cons. Maybe my kids exactly. think I'm a superhero. Exactly, they do think you're a superhero. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm a superhero eating pizza and haggis. Yeah. So, but that doesn't really count. Yeah, because especially if you put pineapple in it. Yeah, yeah. I think that just knocked me down a notch. How do you feel about it ending? What's that? Invincible. How do you feel about uh, Invincible ending? I never want anything to end. Mm. I know. I mean, I appreciate, uh, especially comic storylines with the finite ending. Say, why the last man? Yeah. Preacher. But I never want anything to end. I don't want Walking Dead to end. I don't want comic book to men to end. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't want kind of funny to end. Thank I, you. Yeah, I'm. I'm all for a good time. I never want the party to end. I'm yeah. always a guy that leaves last. And tries it's bittersweet, but I'm glad they're going out and not going to stick around long. Or like this sucks now. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I that's mean, always you the know, thing. You know, there, right? there, there is. A, I guess there is an end for everything, but I, I never want to see a good time end. Good. Tyson Rhino says, "Greg, what kind of mug is that? This is a Quebec mug. Got it. Got it from Jen's dad. 
up in Quebec. Uh, Quebec, Montreal, Montreal, Poutine. Yeah, oh, Tim yeah, Poutine. I go for some Poutine right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I go. Jeff Z O M G says, Greg and Ming, can you each list your top five comics you're currently reading? Top five. Uh, all right, I'll go uh, Hawkeye. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the you know the Marvel now Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go. Um, uh, um, X Men Gold, even without the uh, X Men Gold and Blue, even without the uh, without the uh, the references to uh, racist racist titles. Uh, Paper Girls, yeah. Manifest Destiny. Ooh, what do I throw in as number five though? What do I throw in as number five? Uh, I want to say Southern Bastards. Okay. That's that's, that's a good one. I want to go with something uh, even more mainstream. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm trying. I, to, I'm writing mine down because I can never do it on the fly. Ooh. Oh yeah. So, oh, I see. Oh man, you get you get all the, the all those advantages. Yeah. Uh, the Flash, definitely the Flash. Uh, oh really? Rebirth the Flash. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Especially if you watch the TV show. Oh, it's been it's been great. I, my problem with the Flash one, even when they did Rebirth and everything else with it, was the fact that I pick up that book and I read it and I'm like, oh, this isn't Grant Gustin, yeah. and this isn't you know, like that. Th those guys are so iconic and defining yeah. it so well that the fact that and I know it's such a weird thing that they don't look. Like those counterparts, yeah. it weirds me out, and I can't do it because I love that thing so much. Yeah, but uh, you know the universes and the thing. You know, it, it, if if you're watching the show, and I, you know, I know you don't want to be confused, but yeah, yeah. but uh, you know the the integrity and the storyline very much very much following along. So. Yeah, it's uh, Joshua Williamson, right? I believe so. Right, yeah, now, he's yeah. great, and yeah. I, he's one of those guys who came through and did. Uh, when I was at IGN, he did an interview with me because he was he was just about to start. Nailbiter. Yeah. And I was like, oh man, you're cool. And I started, ever since then I've read his books, I'm like, dude, you're fucking awesome. And he just, he did uh, Justice League Suicide Squad, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that was a good one too. And uh, I'll throw in uh, another one, uh, uh, honorable mention on uh, Nightwing. Nightwing's been great as oh, well. Oh, so Nightwing, Nightwing has Nightwing. been good since Dick yeah. put back on the Nightwing outfit. Yeah. I didn't like the whole secret agent stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Yeah, they go back to Bloodhaven. Uh, they're in, they're in like Europe right now. Yeah. It's, yeah it's Off the top of my head, I, I shot down all new Wolverine, Paper Girls, Trinity, because I'm a big yep. super yep. fan. Uh, Injustice. I love Tom Taylor yep. so much. Obviously, with all new Wolverine, and then I put on Super Sons and Invincible, which is six books. Yeah. But Super Sons, I'm just such a sucker for Damien and Jonathan's like, oh, yeah. inner relationship. <laughs> with other day, yeah. But like I, yeah. everything with Jonathan, even I've liked a lot too with the Superman yeah. books. Yeah, and, I, stuff. and I, I, am, am I being political mixing it all up between those three? I'm sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go outside the box, uh, American Gods, uh, they're doing a comic book adaptation, which is really good right now. So, okay. so I'll pick okay. that up as well. Just come down to Jane Silent Bob Secret Sash, buy all these titles. Uh, I'm you know, so we'll, depressed. <laughs> I've never made it. I've never been to the store. Like back, because again, knowing it for so long, I the first time we went to New York for IGN. I looked into renting a car and driving to Red Bank. Yeah. So like, you know, there. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can take a train down in an hour, mm. and once you get off the station in Red Bank, New Jersey, you can yeah. walk to the store. I got to make it down there sometime. Yeah. I mean, that, that was... I really, our, really want to go there. Yeah, well, yeah, so. we talked about another time we went there, or we're going there or something else. Yeah, and it was that, and like, I don't man... James on the Bob Strike Back when it was they did as Brody yeah, secret yeah, stash. and we like, have that God. sign. The, yeah. the dummy sign is in the store. Yeah, and uh, for anybody wondering, we are there. I mean, when I'm not gallivanting around in San Francisco yeah, yeah. for you know for kind so of. So is that? I mean, has that not fucked up the business, but has it made it weird where people come in now and they're not even there for comics? They're just like, can I get a photo? Can I do this? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, you know, they, they tend to want to buy something because they okay. don't want to piss Walt Flanagan off. Sure. Uh, you know, they've seen him. His dog is vicious. It is. He's, he's, he's very fast. <laughs> And um, yeah, before it was, uh, you know, uh, we had props from Kevin's movies before that, you know, they'd take pictures of that. So yeah. they were coming in with the camera anyway. Uh, so okay, okay, okay. now they get us, uh, us ugly mugs in there. And um, yeah, you know, it's a point of pride now. It's like, oh, I bought something from the stash. Yeah. So See, and that was another thing of how weird it was to go from being the in, member of like the, like, I'm, I love you, Skew, and I'm so into this. And like, knowing who Walt Flanagan was <laughs> before the world knew who Walt, yeah. you know, I mean, the fact that Walt Flanagan's like a TV star now, yeah. it's, like, it's so fucking weird. It's so great for him, but like. Uh, I, um, it's, not only is it weird for you, it's weird for him. He's a guy who doesn't want any attention. Yeah. Um, you know, would rather just run the store and then go home to his family. Uh, now, I think he's never, I, he's never watched an episode of the show as it aired. Oh, really? So yeah. That's funny. And so. he could care less about watching it. Doesn't like watching himself. So yeah, he's that one guy. Uh, you you poll you know a million people. You want hey, we're gonna give you a reality show. You want to be on it? Uh, nine nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine yeah, yeah, people yeah. say yes. He's the one guy's like nah. I'm sorry, good. I'm I good. don't need that. No thanks. I'm good. Worry, yep. Uh, final question applies to all this. King Franchise eighty eight says Ming, what's the thing you've heard on comic book men that has made you say shut the hell up to yourself the most? Uh, hey Ming, Stan Lee's coming in tomorrow. Um, you know, we want you to greet him at the front door as he comes in, and he's going to be on the show, and he's going to be hanging out for, oh, three to four hours, 
And, uh, you know, while, while he's here uh, for the show and for your own, <laughs> you know, for your, for your own fulfillment, ask him whatever you want. He'll probably answer, honestly. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up. Stan Lee coming in here. And, and it happened twice. He's been on the show twice. That's awesome. That was mind-blowing. He's, he's a god. That's like saying God oh, yeah. is coming in yeah. and he's going to be blessing you. And God did come in in the form of Stan Lee. Yeah. And he blessed us at the store. That, and that's the other thing, too. Of like, I remember like when, I mean, like for me, Mallrats was such a definitive movie because it was the first time I ever saw you know, someone having the comic book discussions I like to have in the yep. shop with people. And then Stan Lee being in a, in a, in a movie. Yeah. Like so mind-blowing back in the day that Stan yeah. Lee was in a movie as Stan Lee. Yeah, and giving advice based on a comic book story arc that yeah. he wrote yeah. and have it being valid. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it was awesome. <laughs> Uh, let's check in with subs. If I read your name, you are a sub or a resub. We love and appreciate you. If I read a message, you left a message when you resubbed. Zdubs888, King K78, that guy named Alex, two months smiley face. I know that fun clips aren't usually through subs, but a little bit of throwback Thursday for Greggy. Kevin, have you looked at this fun clip? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Can you give a look at that? That guy named Alex in the subs. Hold on. Uh, Sean Doe666, spreading the <laughs> hardcore reality, seven months in a row. Uh, the Robert... Tangan. Uh, thank you from the stay-at-home dad. You are my local news team, and by local, I live in Ohio. Don't get your news from us. That's a bad way to go about your day. Uh, Ray Burtz. <laughs> Love you guys. Smiley face. DC Extreme 21. A Kizzle 47. I just want to go home and play Zelda. Is that too much to ask? No, it's not. We've all been there. No, go. Do it. Just quit. Yeah, get sick. Stab yourself with something and you can go home. <laughs> uh, Arg Twitch. <laughs> just re-upping that Twitch Prime goodness. Keep fucking that chicken. We will. Uh, quintessential Quintessential Oxter. Hey, what are you guys' favorite comic book sidekicks? Ooh. Uh, ooh. I gotta, I, I gotta tell you, uh, Speedy and Robin. Yeah. Are, are, Which Robin? That, that's my oh, thing. I see that, and that's why I love Robin. You can, you, you know, you can, I see, you can choose. I, I love Tim Drake. Yeah. Because Tim Drake was my Robin. He was my contemporary growing up. I do like what Damian Wayne does yeah, now. Yeah, and, we, awesome. and I love Dick Grayson and how he yeah, turned to Nightwing as well. Of course, of course. So yeah, yeah. so, so all, all three. Real. Yeah. Does Batgirl count? I don't know if you want to do Batgirl. Uh, I think of her kind of in that sidekicky role. Now she's different, but I mean, yeah, you yeah. Know, and, back uh, in the day. I, I, I think of her as her own as her own entity okay, we'll for put sure. Her in that yeah. yeah. So okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, but yeah, for, yeah. We'll go Robin for sure. Let's, okay, like, cool. let's be decisive today. Oh, uh, this is the old throwback, huh? This Robbie Javi Rodriguez. It's hilarious. Pull it up a little bit. We'll just let people talk over it. Everybody search Greg, Greg Silver Surfer, Greg Silver Surfer Game, IGN Game Scoop Cartoon. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. It is a great one. It's long, though, so yeah. But you can go to IGN and give them the click. That only had 14,000 views. Criminally underviewed. I'll, I'll put the link in there. Thank you. Thank you, Kev. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Weezy F Jeezy, uh, Sigmatic underscore, glad to be a best friend for three months. You guys are epic. Greg, any chance of you guys hiring Andrea Renee as a permanent fourth? She would be a great co-host for PS I Love You XOXO as well. Uh, no news on hiring a permanent fourth. We're enjoying playing the field right now, getting all these different guest hosts in here. <laughs> but of course, Kind of Funny Live will have more information on new shows and things like that. Uh, Clark Sana says, hey Greg. Was fun getting to chat with you at Nexus on Thursday. Super excited for you two. That short guy who said you said look, dressed like Nathan Drake, winky emoticon, uh, up in Montre Montreal. 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 There's a bar called Nexus Smart Bar. It's a video game bar. It is awesome. We went there for Jen's goodbye party for her Square Enix thing. Uh, got to hang out with Clark San <laughs> uh, To the end, five two three. Keep up the great content, boys. We will. And Wilson fifteen. I will destroy Greg. At Mario Kart this Friday. Bring it on, you fucking bitch. Uh, Cray the Cursed. Hey, kind of funny. Happy to milk Amazon for you. Thank you. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, and they've taken a lot of your money, so you should give some of it to us. Uh, Megalodon, <laughs> PhD. Uh, the Alan Muir, 18. Ming, I sell comics is better than TESD. Thank you very much. <laughs> what, uh, I know TESD, but I... Yeah, tell them Steve Dave. Tell them Steve Dave. Thank uh, you. I'm stuck uh, on it. Our sister podcast run by Walt Flanagan, uh, Brian Johnson, and yeah. Brian Quinn from Impractical Jokers. Uh, get Ben PD. Six months with you beautiful bastards. You guys are the reason my friends and I started our own podcast. Keep it up. Go do it. More podcasts. More podcasts. Now, everybody's got to listen to something, right? Nobody wants to talk to people. Yeah. Travis well, Warren. <laughs> seven months, boys. Our kind of funny baby is almost here. Glad to see Ming on the show. Woot t Twitch Prime. Yeah. Uh, Spideyville says, can't wait to see Greg whip Zyger, Zyger's ass in Mario Kart. That man knows what he's talking about. Missed Ops, Dan Limbo, Andy's a cute boy and I like cute boys. <laughs> I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. I did it. Oh, you got your camera you were so excited for. Yep. Nice. Is it cool? Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, you don't sound convinced. Yeah! Thank you. Dr. Body Dropper, uh, Nobo23. Thanks for the hours of entertainment, guys. Special shout outs to Joey Noel, Smiley. Hey, Joey. Uh, Dad's Downtime. Only my second time watching live, parentheses, not counting Let's Play Live Chicago, but keep up the great work. We will, man. Thanks for coming over and checking us out. Falcon Box, uh, Matthew Kotsoros. Been a fan since IGN. Can't wait until Kind of Funny Live 3. I'm coming for you, Greg. Hashtag from Montreal with love. Hashtag Mario Kart Deluxe. I'll see you Friday for Mario Kart Deluxe. Kind of Funny Live 3 tickets still on sale. Kindoffunny.com slash KFL3. Reading Rambo. Party Taylor. Congrats <laughs> on the move, Greg. Wish you and Genevieve the best. Thank you. Uh, Bizarre Monk. Hey, Greg. I have diarrhea right now. Please give me some words of advice to get through this torture. Stay hydrated. I know it's tough. Drink some water. Yeah, kale pectate. Uh, yep. You know, um, not to give... Well, they should endorse us, but yeah. Yeah, of course they should. And, and, uh, and, and binders. Uh, rice. Yeah, rice. Oatmeal. Yeah. Get some bread in there. Yeah, yeah, carbs. Yeah. Oh, uh, pineapple pizza. Oh, Jesus no. God. Oh, you know, that may make it worse. Never mind. Garbwire47, JSC2994, Rich Hertz, Gregory Glenn, best friends for life, Hart, Oh, me, Maddie G, Gats Ocean, Sushi Girl Alley, hashtag Team Greg, Hart, kick ass on Friday. Oh, I will. J Bo, 1984, uh, Lepi Shikari, uh, Grail, 2114. Love you guys. Sweet, nasty love to kind of funny. Sweet, nasty love back to you. Uh, Muck and Fee, 12. Like a foster, two months in, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> You're making good choices. Uh, it's Jay Griff, El Mar Aro. Uh, what are the chances of getting Kevin Pereira on GOG? We love Kevin. If he's ever in through San Francisco, that'd be easy, and we could always bring him up, too. Uh, Shepherd's Pie, 69. Mmm, sub. Blazed King, the Bat Zach. Uh, Kira, 987. Jerry, dude. Or no, Jerry D007. Uh, I love TMJ. Congrats on everything. The recent content has been some of the best ever. Love you guys. I agree. I think we're on a high streak right now. Thank you all for your support and sticking out with us. Phoenix, 8387. And final sub is Titan Meteor. Stay puff, friends. Stay Puff Friends, all right? Like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And then Mr. Or no, Mr. Amy's jumped in. But now I'm, I'm clicking off, so it's done. We don't have to worry about that. I, uh, I love that this sounds like gang code, too. I like know, right? Yeah, throwing yeah. up signs like KF. KF? KF. Hashtag KF. Yeah, KF. Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let, In the chat, let's get Lexi says, give Ming some love from Hunter and Lexi. Oh, so thank you, guys. You know. Ming, thank you so much for coming by. I, this has been a pleasure. I'll come back anytime. Shoot, dude, this, this is amazing. When you come through for anything in San Francisco, let us know. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, if you, you know, you know, we put, put on half shirts and uh, start oh, yeah. trash talking. I'll start practicing today. Thank you. Yeah, you know, get get your Mario Kart chops up. Come okay. on back, clown out some people with okay, us. Okay, done. Of course, uh, everybody follow Ming on Twitter. Watch Comic Book Man season. Six just ended. Yeah, Seven's so hope, yep, yep. So hopefully, get season seven. Uh, and uh, yeah, w watch, listen to the podcast, but uh, more importantly, tune into these guys. No, go to you know, uh, kind of funny three coming up. Can't kind of funny yeah. life three, right? Kind of funny life three. When June, is that? I want to June third. June third. Totally come. June third. Right, Bring let everybody. Me, let me check the. If calendar. Walt Flanagan comes to kind of funny life three, I'll fucking go crazy. Uh, he doesn't fly, so not. Then likely. he's not coming to kind of funny life three, yeah. but you should come. I will. I think I'm gonna come, dude. That's fucking awesome. Let's go. We got a show, <laughs> Tim. Don't worry, we got a show after all. Tim was thinking about canceling it, but now we're not going to do it. Kind of Funny Live 3 is June 3rd here in San Francisco. A whole bunch of shit happening around it. Please come check it out. Kindoffunny.com slash KFL3. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. You know about the subs and all that stuff. Steal the money from Amazon. You know Kevin's over there. He's cool. This is Ming. He's cool. Thank you. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.